Hi, I'm so glad you decided to stop on my video and watch it. Please watch it all the way to the end. I'm getting better at editing so that I speed it up. And I will teach you how to do alcohol ink paintings that will blow your mind. Okay, here we go. Welcome. I'm glad you decided to stop by and watch my video. And we've got a few things out here on the table. Uh, we are going to be using Picasso alcohol inks. We're going to be using some masking fluid. It comes for watercolor or alcohol inks, by the way. Pencil, of course, to draw your design. And a sharpener later to erase them. Then we're going to use this nifty little guy called a ruling pen. It's what holds the liquid of the masking fluid and will help us to apply the masking fluid onto the paper. The paper is by Pixis. Okay, that's the name of the paper that I use. Trying to see if there's any more details other than Pixis, but it's the substrate. And we're going to need 99% isopropyl alcohol, um, either in a small bottle with a little tip on it, um, however you like using it, either with a dropper or whatever. You might need a Q-tip. There might be something that dribbled something and you want to get it off. You can get it right off with this paper. This substrate is awesome. Uh, you post stains. I know it's a pretty paper and it's expensive and all that stuff, but it stains. And for a lot of work I do, it doesn't work. So I stick to either Duralar or Pixis. That's where I'm at. Um, all right, well, we've got everything here out. So let me kind of get straightened out and we'll get started to masking off our, well, I drew another bird. I'm obsessed with birds. Okay, I'll be right back. All right, we're just about done with our masking fluid. I didn't put you through the entire watch because that's a lot of watch time. But see how easy it goes in with a ruling pen. When you want thicker like I did, you can widen the mouth or, you know, get a little more on your stick maybe. Or on your stick. I mean, on your ruling pen. I had a phone call and everything else that interrupted me, so I'm... <laughs> I forgot what I told you and what I haven't. I'm sorry. Anyway, we're just about done with this part. And there we go. Boom. I do see one little maybe or not. I'm not sure, but I'm going to go over it just one more time. Okay, there we go. All right, on to the next. Okay, here we go. It's time to paint another bird. <laughs> I'm crazy about birds, aren't I? Well, to make it a little different, I put some poppies up here. <laughs> one poppy here, one poppy there, one not open. And they have these, like, hairy, like, stems. So, I've made something that's kind of like that. We'll see what happens. Also, I'm going to use my first wish list that I received from a subscriber. I had this down as a, a wish. It was only one thing, and but it was the Revlon hairbrush attachment that you can curl your hair with, but if you unattach it, it becomes a wonderful blow, a dryer. It's not super heavy, so it blows everywhere. It has a cool setting, a low, and a high. So, thank you again. She want, didn't want me to say her name, so she knows who she is, and uh, she's going to get to watch me have a little fun with it tonight. So, I'm going to turn this picture around towards me, because I want to start 
do I want to do something just different, you know? Um, so we're just gonna go for it. I pulled out some I use, by the way, um, Picasso inks. I love them. I love them. I also use Pixis substrate. Okay, great paper. Great paper. Um, I'm also an affiliate with Pixis, so if you want to order anything. I'll make sure to put in the description box the code, and you get a percentage off. Yeah! So that's cool, right? So I finally got that accomplished. I'm working on getting some others, so I can give some more cool stuff. All right. I'm jibber-jabbering and trying to figure out what I'm looking for, because it's not jumping. There it is. It's hiding. I wanted to get out a little bit of my alcohol blending solution, which we use with alcohol inks, and I'm going to try to open it. Oh, there we go, giving me a, giving me a tussle, and I'm just going to put just a drop or two right here. Then I'm going to take some of this poppy red, and I thought I might put it right there, just just a squirt. And I want to see how this works. <laughs> so, you and I are going to try it together. Hmm. <laughs> I'm not very good at it. <laughs> I can see this is going to take a little practice, huh? Alright, well, let's just practice. Let's just let it out. Yeah, that's the lowest. God darn. That's got to be a little bit lower. Well, it's just going to take a little practice, that's all. And knocking over stuff. That's hard for the course. Hey, this is pretty cool. What do you think? My first wish list. Thank you so much. I just can't help it. I'm just so thrilled that somebody would care enough to help me out. I really, really appreciate it, sweetheart. I'm glad you watched my videos and helping me out. And as you see, I'm going to need some practice. But that's okay. we got to practice. I'm talking through the... I'm sorry about that. You probably couldn't hear a word I said. I'm not used to a loud uh, blower, but uh, we'll have to see how that sounds to you guys. Anyway, just really thrilled about it, and obviously you can see I need lots of work. And I dropped something, so let me get it. Well, I got busy here. <laughs> Forgot to turn it back on. And kind of getting used to the uh, feel of the different, uh, you know, if I go up higher, that gives me high heat. Then there's a low setting, which I really like, that has a low setting of heat. And then it does have the cool. Now, this substrate I'm using is uh, should be okay with um, heat, not, not blazing heat or anything but just low heat. Now see, that's come up with a kind of a, a very different look. Not sure if it's what I'm going for, but I, we're just playing. I'm playing. This is play night. <laughs> you got to have a play night, right? Or at least I do. So, here we are, playing with my new toy. I couldn't be happier. I really have to do some practicing, though, because I plan on, I want, you know, my main thing was to do roses. You know, I love roses. My husband has um, a green thumb when it comes to roses. That's his favorite, and he, he actually can propagate them and all that neat stuff. So I'm lucky enough to get fresh roses once in a while from my honey from our bushes. So... I'm going to talk too much and mess everything up here. Let me see. Let me see if I can't just get it right around his cute little face. Yeah, working. I want a little 
deeper there because I know there's a shadow there. Gonna be a shadow there. I'm not even sure how this is all looking. I wish y'all were live. I should do a live. You guys can laugh at me and everything. <laughs> we'll have a good time. Oh my. Okay. Well, I don't know that I'm making you proud <laughs> with my new toy, but uh, thank you so much again for it, and it's going to be a blast trying, you know, I'm going to come up with all kinds of cool stuff. we got texture, all kinds of fun things that we can play around with, I think. I think, I think. Turn it. Here we go, that's what I need to remember to do, is to go around, whoop, already out of the line. <laughs> That didn't take long. Oh well. There's reflections in nature. Right? Yeah. I'm going to speed it up just a little bit. See if I can't get some of that red up. Give you a break from that for a minute. Boy. And do you see how I can put the alcohol on the edge there and still be able to move the ink? Isn't that pretty cool? Now, Yuko Paper, as much as I love the company and all that, and they put out a pretty paper, but it, it, it'll stain, and I think that it would make doing something like this really hard. This, this isn't exactly easy to tell you the truth. <laughs> my first time trying with a blow dryer. I am so excited and making probably a complete mess of a painting, but we'll have some fun doing it, right? Alright, let's do one more little squirt. <laughs> okay. Let's just give it a stop. I've got to give it a stop from all that noise. My goodness. Okay, what have we done? <laughs> Am I making you proud with my new toy that you got me? And for all my new subscribers, welcome. I know that I've gotten a few in the last few days. I... They don't tell us who subscribes. Maybe if I get more, a higher number, they'll, that kind of information I'll get. But welcome to everybody that has been uh, new and subscribed to my channel. It's awesome. And I want to do lives and get y'all free codes. and all. I won't forget to put the Pixis down there because they have a bunch of good alcohol ink. Um things to buy. Not not only just for alcohol ink, but all kinds of art supplies. So then we got some red poppies we're gonna do. And I'm kinda thinking this maybe with the blower isn't gonna work on these little guys here. So I was gonna make them kind of a reddish orange. And the background I was gonna do with green leaves and we have this spaghetti like stem that comes from poppies. And we're gonna use our Bianyo, Bianyo markers, alcohol ink markers. Wonderful. I tell you, they are a game changer when it comes to this kind of stuff. Well, let me get some of my colors out so that I don't take up all your time. And get that done, and I'll be right back in a second. 
Now, what I think that I shall do is take, uh, and, and plus for to let you know what you can do, is if you've dropped some, uh, let's say, ink in a place you don't want it, which I have it all over the place, right? I'm not going to try to get it completely clean, but I wanted to show you how neat Pixis substrate is. And this is red. Ruby red from the Picasso line of inks. And they are strong and vibrant. And there'd be no way I could wipe that to clean if that was on Yupo. Uh, maybe not even Duralar. Uh, possibly Duralar. So I thought, well, why not? Just kind of, I'm not going to take all the color away. Um, you know, it's going to be an abstract, obviously. <laughs> I don't know how much detail I'm going to be able to get into this little baby. But, yeah, just a little bit of alcohol and the end of a cotton ball swab. You can get these at um, the Dollar Tree for $1.25, a big old package. And they're nice and they're thick and you got to get the kids kind. Because they do have the thin that is very useful as well. But... They also have this nice thick one, too. So, thought I'd fill you in on that. Every dime matters these days, or at least it does in my home. <laughs> um, there we go. So, I think that's pretty, maybe just a little bit right under, or maybe, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> sometimes I just can't talk. My brain is like going, okay, what do I do? Okay, well... It's going to be abstract, so color is going to be everywhere. But I did want to kind of clean it up a little bit. You know, because strange lines, we don't want that, that don't make any sense kind of thing. Kind of clean it up. It is, you know, as you know, because you went through it with me if you've made it this far, <laughs> that we did mask with masking fluid all of the bird and the puppies and the you know their stems and all of that so yeah we don't have to worry about that it'll be nice and white when I pull it up okay so what I think I'll do I think that's as much as I'm gonna do with the cleanup issue and I'm gonna go ahead and use one of my markers from Vianio let me just reshow it again Vianio and the color is just plain old, does it say, what is it? Geranium. Geranium. Eyes aren't so good, are they? Okay, here we go. And I'm just going to go ahead and just marker in these poppies. And then cover it with masking fluid after the ink is dried. And then go to town on the background. I'm going to use my new toy and blow around the sky. Maybe some leaves at the bottom, etc. And then take the masking fluid off of the poppy and then work with it probably with a brush or something. Uh, you know, I'm just basically wanting to get the color in there. And it's amazing to get such a beautiful red, by the way. I don't know if you noticed, out of alcohol ink. Usually the red in alcohol ink is considered the magenta which is true with the Picasso line, all except for one. They have ruby red, which I just squirted here. Isn't that awesome? Yeah, great red. And then in these markers, this red right here is really nice. I'm pretty sure you can tell. They go on really nice. They're deep, vibrant colors. So we like that. That's what drew me to alcohol ink in the first place. I was doing... Um, well, watercolor was my first love, and then it went to um, uh, fluid art, paint pouring and blooms and flip cups and <laughs> all kinds of stuff. I just love everything, so. Um, but now I've been stuck lately on doing my alcohol inks instead. So, and it was so messy with the paint pouring. I love it, but pull the spinning the mess the hand scrubbing if you didn't if you forgot your gloves which I normally do uh, so it was time for a change and it just seemed to 
work out just perfect. So, that's why you're seeing so many. But if you have a request, more than happy. I can answer questions. I can send you a little video on it or how I mix stuff. Or If you have those kind of questions, you know, feel free to ask and I'll, I shall fulfill as soon as possible because I do answer all comments. I try. If one gets in there from an older video, I, you know, I try to go back and make sure I got everything, but I'm not perfect, so. Okay, I think there should be a little bit of red right at the tip of a bud, but I'm not, I'm not sure. So what I'm going to do is do just a little bit, because nothing of this is real. <laughs> So, and come in with a green color and put us in our little bud with its spaghetti. They have like, and I heard somebody refer to it as spaghetti. That's why it's stuck in my brain, but their stems are like spaghetti. Um, and they have little hairs on them, which I think is going to be really interesting to see how that turns out. All right, and maybe let's go ahead and, um, 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 what should I do? Maybe color in some of the leaves, maybe. And get those protected. With a little more masking fluid on top of the paint, just to make that clear. That way, when I go blowing around, I'm not going to mess it up. And, uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. I, this is... This is completely pure fun, haven't tried machinery, let's say. <laughs> another tool, or yeah, another tool for alcohol inks, which I'm, I'm so excited to have. As you know, <laughs> I can't seem to get off the topic. I'm ready to start blowing around again. But uh, yeah, so I'm trying a better probably hush up a little bit and get to painting a little more because I know video time and your time is valuable. Some people, I like the long ones, but you know, that's just me. Some people, they just need, you know, a couple minutes and they're, they're good. And that's cool too. And fast forwarding. That's, you know, no problem for me at all. Uh, understand it completely. I've done it. Uh, I'm just going to put just a little touch of green right there for the heck of it. And Oh, that's right. I have them covered, so they're not going to get messed up. Okay. Now we've got those cute little spaghetti lines, which I'm going to go ahead and put in with this marker. And what I tried to do was make spaghetti like lines with the masking fluid. So we may end up with lots <laughs> of spaghetti or not. I'm not sure. We'll just have to wait and see. All right. I'm going to, you know what? I'll pause this, do all this little detail work. That's all I'm doing is like the, you know, and then I'm going to cover it with masking fluid. It's got to dry. I'm not putting you through all that. Okay? Be right back. Okay, here we are. I colored in the poppies and the foliage um, and then covered it with a layer of masking fluid. And that's by Windsor and Newton. So then I put a layer over the red. Okay, so that's protected. And we're going to go crazy again. <laughs> and with some blue for the sky and some green. And, you know, we're just going to have a little fun. I mean, I didn't cover the whole bird. You know, I didn't even think about that. Um, but uh, so we're going to have to be a little bit careful. But we'll, we'll see how it all all comes out in the wash, right? All right, um, I have to turn it my way, which unfortunately I think makes it upside down. I'm not sure, uh, but I do move it around, so I just want to make sure that I do have... I know I'm going to start with the top, so let me just move myself over. There we go. All right. All right, I say. Okay. 
color. Okay, there it is. Yeah, we're just going to go straight at it. I know another saying, but I'm not going to say it. <laughs> okay, here we go. We're going to, let's see, what do I want to do? Uh, let's put a little bit of alcohol down. And then some of our blue. And see what happens. You can kind of learn to just manipulate your inks on a low on the low setting. I thought that the low cool would be better for working on this kind of paper, but this is working on a low heat so that I can have that lower amount of heat. Don't warp the paper. Talking low, sorry. How about I just work? kind of pretty. I'm liking that. Let me clean up. I got alcohol on me. Hold on. Okay, we're I went ahead and filled in the blue, so we'll work at just a time constraints. So all I'm doing is just dropping alcohol like you seen me do up there. And I'm dropping in some green. And just using my new tool. <laughs> Every time I say it I gotta celebrate it, right? So I'm just using it to kind of work around. And to fill in the bottom, maybe with some interesting shapes, we'll see what happens, yeah.
hope I'm in frame, guys. Uh, the turntable makes it easier for me to manipulate. Not that I know where anything really is going, because just uh, abstractly doing it. Put some alcohol there. And a little bit more ink. And maybe we'll be almost done with the background. But see why I wanted this little tool? Is this just not the best? I love it. I love it. Totally recommend it. Just a little bit more control, and with alcohol inks, that's what you you know you kind of want. You want some control. So. They still have a mind of their own. <laughs> you just gotta be determined. You're gonna win it. A minute to win it. Now I'm just dropping in inks straight out of the bottle. That way uh, I can create some lines, some, you know, dark, shadowy kind of things happening. And rotating from bottle to bottle. Do the ink, alcohol, and then the ink, and then drying it like this. That's great. It's looking out so good. Wow. Look how much easier that is. Now my sides are all taped off, so it'll be a good border. Good, I like the shapes. What do y'all think? I could use my turntable, but it just keeps getting jammed up every time I try to move it. There we go. I'm hoping I'm still in view. Yeah. So, yeah. I'm liking. Once I get, you know, this is all covered up his eyeball. Oh, let me turn this off. Yeah, that's good. It, it can dry now on its own. Um, this is all masked off okay so when i reveal it you're we're gonna have the eyeball the beak all of that good stuff there's actually a masking fluid for the wing uh, and of course all the spaghetti stems and our poppies that should have stayed perfect underneath the uh, 
yeah, underneath the uh, masking fluid I put on top of it. Okay. Well, from here, I like to take a minute and just step back and look at my picture. Let me do it towards y'all. There you go. I think that is the preferred view for you. I'm not sure. But I'm trying. So, I'm looking up underneath the camera. I think that is okay. So, that's what we're, where we are now. So, everything's masked off that we wanted to, you know, keep a color or I wanted white. So, now the process is is just letting this background, which it's probably already dry, yeah. And, and that's going to be me uh, revealing the, uh, taking off the masking fluid and then you know, I got a branch to paint and, you know, the details, all that good stuff. Okay, so what I do, usually at this point, like I said, and I tell anybody I'm teaching any of my art to, is to just take a minute, you know, and stop a minute, take a walk around, get something to drink, you know, have a different view of something, and then uh, come back. Then take a look at your picture, and you'll know exactly, most likely, or most of my students anyway, they know pretty much exactly what they want to change, what they don't do like, or what they don't like, all that stuff. Like I said, my borders are good. I'm just cleaning up my, uh, I, by the way, a good tip is to tape with scotch tape, because it will not bleed, uh, so you can have a border, and also putting it on a, a glass which is out of a picture frame from the Dollar Tree. So it cost me a buck, and that's not bad. <laughs> well, a buck 25, but back then it was a dollar. Boom. <laughs> anyway, um, a lot of fun working with this alcohol ink. I'm, I'm hoping that I'm, I'm teaching you something. Uh, uh, I don't like, by the way, the scotch tape at the Dollar Tree, and I'm pro Dollar Tree, isn't good because it will literally... It, it leave like residue on it on the edges and you don't want that the next thing you know my doggy's hair is on it or my kitty's hair or something weird like that so go with scotch tape it, it, it doesn't leave a residue and or any kind of mess so all right I'm gonna do what I said and okay we are now at the stage of after I've removed all of our masking fluid off the top of our roses as you see they did not uh, the uh, new ink did not penetrate into the old because we had covered it up with uh, the masking fluid so just to catch you up there or catch myself up actually it's the next day I wanted to then after you've taken off your masking fluid that's when you want to break out your pencil and just make sure that all your pencil lines are gone. Real easy. It doesn't take much to get them to come off. Just have a good eye, you know, and try to make sure that you get every pencil mark off. Now, I am keeping one on, which is right around his eye. And, yeah, it's a boy bird. <laughs> um... So, I'm busy erasing like crazy here, but I just want to let you know, this is the stage where you get off your, um, get off your pencil marks, is after you've removed all your masking fluid, or at least the part that you want to remove, like we haven't done this yet, uh, but we have here, so there's lots of pencil marks, let me go ahead and save time and get them all taken care of. <laughs> 